Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase. Today we are going to learn how to generate the assist token. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here you can see that the Firebase has disabled the cloud messaging API. So previously we are using the server key to send the Firebase push notifications. Now it's gonna be disabled when you're trying to create a new project, right? So how we are going to send the push notifications now? So the Firebase has released its new API version with access token. So the URL is gonna be changed and same with the access token you have to apply without the server key. So you don't need to require the server key, nothing you need to do, but I will show you what exactly it is. So HTTP, I think Firebase legacy. Okay, so if I go with its Firebase legacy, here you can see that how to migrate it. So the update the server endpoint. So server endpoint is updated. So before we are trying to send with this, now we are trying to send with this one. Here we need a project ID. Okay, and the second one, the information that is access token, that is bearer token, we require that this auth 2.0 access token right from the service account. So we are going to drive the service from the service account access token okay so i think they have also given the code in the python node.js they have given java python so currently i am using the python to generate the access token okay so let's get started so let me go to my code base so here we go with service account file here i think i have updated this one where charts are there build youtube this is that one okay so this is i need to just use this to generate the assist token drag this paste and comment this okay so google auth you have to import this or install this via pip okay and uh, here we are using the service account and the transport requests okay so let me just word wrap this yeah so here we have to give the service account file how to generate it so if i go over here here you can see that service account files right so here you need to generate that service account file and uh, give the path over there okay so here it's loading So generate new k pair, it will give you that file. Okay. What next? Define the required scopes with the help of this Firebase messaging. Okay. Then define the required scopes is done. Load the service account credentials. Okay. With the scopes, right? After this, generate the SS token with the help of Google or transport request request. If I go to the migrate part also, what they are here, you can see that firebase admin initialize app they are using okay so i'm using the auth transfer request request credentials dot refresh request access token and print that access token right so this is small little code for generating the access token let's try to check it generate the access token or not so let's see so i'm going to add python 3 main.py so access token is there so here you can see that I'm going to use this SS token to send the push notifications. Let's go to the postman. So where is yeah, this is the postman new one request that is FCM Google APIs projects. This is project ID. Okay. And here in the body, we have to send this token and in the headers, you need to pass the bearer token. So this is the bearer token that I need to replace with this. Okay. Let me open my project with the Nest.js where we have the token. Firebase next source. Yeah, this is that one. Let me open this project. NVM use node 20 
npm run dev okay so let's copy this link and open here okay and here we receive the fcm token <coughs> so let's use this ofcm token so here we go with the body let's add this okay and let's try to send this notification okay so let's try to send this i think token we have paste let's send here you can see that notification done and in the postman request what we get project testing message with this is sent okay so this is how you are able to send the push notifications with the firebase and this is the way that you can generate the assist token very easy very simple any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day